Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 21st of August, Saturday of the week of Pentecost 12. Paul Shearer, 1892-1969. It may well go without saying, and perhaps it should, that what the gospel always has in mind is to comfort the distressed. What may not so well without saying is that it never undertakes that role prematurely. It is equally concerned to distress the comfortable. Jesus never occupied himself with the way out. One might think that he was intolerably cavalier about that. To him, it was the way through that mattered. It was not with him as with us, the problem of living that looms so large as Bonhoeffer somewhere points out, it was the problem of life. It is this ultimate bewilderment, this ultimate alienation, this ultimate anxiety that the gospel addresses. And the gospel addresses it by increasing it Freud, with a distaste almost amounts to nausea, calls religion an irrational delusion, a man's assumption that he is unvulnerable, immortal, backed up by the Almighty. But where in the Bible is that? If he is backed up, he is backed up into a corner. And the prayer from what's called the banquet of praise, Lord, we confess that we have often refused the gift of your spirit. Content in our dimness, we shrink from your light. Comfortable in our coolness, we withdraw from your fire. We would be moved, but carefully. We would feel, but mildly. We would see your face, but dimly. Forgive us for begrudging the coming of your spirit or for accepting your fire only to smother it selfishly. Forgive us and visit us again. We pray now in Jesus' name, not for warm thoughts, but for burning hearts. For there is much that we must see and much that we must do. Amen.